this video, we're going to uh, compare the picture quality from this old single tube Indexitron uh, projector that Sony made back in the early 1980s. Now, if you saw, if you haven't seen the video on the repair of this, do check it out. These were interesting units. What this projector did was it revolutionized the portable projector uh, market. Prior to this, video projectors used three projection tubes and that required a complex alignment procedure to get the three colors lined up on the screen. And what Sony did with this is they used what's called a beam index tube, which basically creates a color picture from a single gun. Okay, if we look at the surface of the tube there, you'll see the, the red, green, and blue stripes. Very much like a conventional picture tube. However, a conventional picture tube has three guns, a red, a green, and a blue. And it uses a shadow mask. And that shadow mask restricts the amount of brightness. It also creates a much more complex convergence circuit. And um, a projection, or a, a, a conventional shadow mask picture tube, if you um, move it around, magnetic influences from the magnet, Earth magnetic field will affect the purity. So the indexitron tube, which is also called a, a, a beam index tube, was developed, which eliminates all those shortcomings. Uses a single gun, like a black and white tube, to produce all three colors by means of multiplexing. And between each of the three colors, there's an index stripe that operates the phase lock loop circuit for the uh, color multiplexing. On this video, I'm going to compare the picture quality on, of this unit with this little Pico projector. This is uh, standard definition. Actually, I believe the resolution on this is 640 by 360 progressive. This should be 480 interlaced. We're going to compare the relative picture quality from this CRT projector to this mini DLP. And we're going to do it using this high gain screen, which is the actual screen that's part of the Vinamagic system. So here's a shot off the screen. I'm going to put the same content on. I'm going to use the same high gain screen for both the Pico projector and the Vinamagic. This is the image off the proper Sony 40 inch high gain screen. So this is delivering the best quality that this projector is capable of delivering. I've already set up my focus. There's a focus control on here that we can set the focus to the sharpest that we can get it. I think I've got it pretty darn close to being perfect as sharp as this thing's going to go anyway. So there's the picture off the high gain screen. And I think if I move my camera a little bit higher, because when I when I kneel down to the height of the camera, the screen actually gets a bit dimmer. So I'm just going to raise the camera up a bit so we can get optimum brightness. Because off these screens, they have a relatively narrow angle of vertical view. These high gain screens are designed to be used in rooms that have got some ambient light. A conventional uh, projection screen is completely white and they'll reflect all light. These ones are actually silver. They only reflect the light in the direction of the viewer and they reject light coming from other angles. So this gives us the best possible brightness from this device. Now I'll turn on the Pico projector. They're both focused on the screen, so I should be able to just turn this thing on if I can find the power button. Ah, just a little bit brighter. Okay, I'll turn off the other one. So now what we're looking at is we're looking at the image projected from the Insignia Pico projector. 
Now remember, this is not high definition. You're seeing the actual image. It's coming off the same. It's off of a, a AVC HD disc. So this is a high definition recording. But we're only looking at standard definition because this Pico projector is only a standard definition projector. These videos I'm showing here, this is just some stuff that I downloaded off of YouTube. So I'm hoping that we're not going to get any problem. If, if I have a problem with this, I'll upload it and I'll just invert the picture. I'll re-upload it and invert the picture. But uh, anyway, this gives you an idea of how much better this Pico projector is than the Vitamagic. I guess if you want an even more fair comparison, I will go and get my... Um, I've got a, uh, a ViewSonic and it's a 720 projector and we can put that one on there but this high gain screen might be just a little bit too bright for the uh, other projector I mean it is going to be so bright that I won't be, probably won't be able to look at it but um, this th on this screen here this is a fantastic picture but um, what I'll do is I'm going to go and get my other projector and we'll do a comparison between this one and the other projector so just watch this for a second here and I'll go grab the other projector and we'll set it up in place of the uh, Vitamagic okay so now we're looking at the image from my ViewSonic this is a 720 projector projecting in 720 and I'm just going to cover the lens and open the lens from the other one so we can do a direct AB comparison so right now we're looking at the ViewSonic and now we're looking at the Pico projector. I think I've got this about as sharp as I can get it. Let's try adjusting the focus here. So there's the Pico projector. And we'll switch back to the other one. And there's the there's the ViewSonic. Quite the difference. So here's the Pico projector. doesn't look bad looks very good okay and there's the view sonic view sonic insignia and back to the view sonic and back to the insignia view sonic insignia there's the difference between the 720 this is the 1280 by 720 projector DLP 640 or that that's the 640 projector 640 by 360 this is the little Pico projector the LED Pico projector and that's my higher end it's not new it's old but it's a 720 a 1280 by 720 projector okay there's the insignia again last time and there it is so and now they're both superimposed so I hope that gives you an idea what the difference in the quality of, of the unit is um, this unit here is perfectly acceptable for for projection if you need to get a you know need to do something off of a smartphone or something and you don't need a huge screen and you don't need a lot of brightness you're in a dark room hey this works perfect i uh have the thing projecting on my ceiling in my bedroom and i use it to watch stuff in bed it's great i'm only watching it on about a 45 inch screen that's about the distance i get from about the same distance a little bit bigger than what i see here but you know what this, the unit is completely silent uh and uh it, it certainly is definitely watchable you know maybe not as watchable as that but it's still very watchable so there it is, it, there's the, uh, the ViewSonic and the Insignia. And that's, uh, I'm gonna shut this one off now. There's the button on here to turn it off. Comes up with a nice little message when I'm shutting it off. Hit okay, off and back to the other one. Thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.